Anyways, figured I'd try a different type of video. <laughs> um, have you ever taken apart an LED bulb? Well, of course you have. Everybody has. Well, not everybody. I know Big Clive have. <laughs> Took them apart. But, um, this one has failed. No longer produces any light. So the LEDs gave out. So I'm kind of curious as to what gave out inside of this bulb. This is a... What the hell is this thing? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Does it say anywhere on her? Uh, do not use with dimmers. Mm -hmm. 120 volts. 95 milliamp. 5.5 watts 60 Hertz so 5.5 watts LED um, bulb so I'm gonna see if we can't pull this apart without slicing my hands apart and uh, see if uh, see what happened to her so anyways if you're interested in seeing what happened to this style uh, bulb then, by all means, stay tuned till we get to the bottom of the burned out bulb. Well, I guess the first thing we gotta do is alleviate the plastic from this part with the help of Hacksaw. <laughs> Chop that off and uh, see if anything burned up inside. Plastic. All right, let's have a look. So, let's see we got ooh, one burned out bolt, one LED right there. That one LED. So does that mean this whole thing is in series? All these bulb, all these LEDs are in series. Is that what that means? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? It was produced on April seventeenth, twenty fifteen. This one was made. Just the date, date code. Let's see if we can't pull her apart a little bit more. Let's see, we can't get further into this thing, huh? Might be here in the background, channel 38 lower side band is uh, quite busy. I'm gonna go out here in Scotland. I'm gonna hear him be listening. <laughs> According to him, there's a bad thunderstorm over in Northern Ireland at the moment. Let's see, is that enough? Is it gonna get a bit deeper? Maybe. Hit me small our cutters. Let me 
get the drill bit. Let me get a little bit more access. Not drill much, just a little bit. hole just so we can get a grip on the plastic here there we go. Ooh, see a circuit board in there Okay, let me clean up my mess here and we'll have a little look. You guys, so there's AC in, there's AC in, LED out. So we've got a resistor here, it looks like, maybe a fuse or act as a fuse. Uh, bridge rectifier right here, diode, uh, a couple of resistors one, two, three, four resistors, one capacitor. On that side of the board, this side we have two inductors, transistor, and two electrolytic capacitors. The transistor is a JW1779. The board produced 0602 2015. So, the board's not all that old. It's Black mark on top of the capacitor here. I don't know if that's. Not sure. Let's sketch out this uh, board and have a wee peek at it, eh? Okay, so again, there's the old circuit board, which probably works just fine. AC uh, comes in on the right hand side, DC to the LEDs out on the left hand side. This top side of the board, bottom side of the board. This here is the schematic that I managed to figure up looking at this. So we have AC coming in here, we got our neutral. Neutral goes straight to the bridge rectifier. The line, or the hot side, Goes through a 2.2 ohm resistor, which nine chance turns act as a fuse. Uh, that's being uh, put through a 500 or 5.1k resistor and inductor to the bridge rectifier. So then you have DC output, which is being filtered by a 4.7 microfarad electrolytic at 200 volts, and then that goes across through R3. Which is a 56 ohm resistor, R2, which is 5.1 ohm resistor, two of these are in parallel, which goes to a JW1779. Also goes through a little ceramic capacitor, also to the JW1779. The output of the JW1779 then goes through a diode and inductor, and through is filtered again. Uh, by a 2.2 microfarad 200 volt electrolytic and resistor to discharge 110k through 9 LEDs and as you can see the LEDs are indeed in series like the old Christmas lights so of course one LED fails well guess what the bulb no longer works so, burn out, a bulb, uh, burn out an LED, you lose voltage. Dead. The JW1779, I didn't find anything online for this one, but it did manage to come across one for a JW1792, which is a 500 volt MOS non-insulated buck LED driver. 
and that's the circuit that it would be in. Um, you can actually find the information on it. That particular one, right here, tell you all about it, including the little schematic. You can download that if you want to read a little bit more on it. But uh, apparently, the features, which I'm assuming the JW1779 should also be pretty much the same thing. Uh, excellent line load regulation, boundary mode operation, high efficiency, LED, SCP, VDD, UVLO, over uh, temperature protection, inductor short protection. Uh, integrate 500 volt low uh, MOSFET. So, yeah, it's actually a MOSFET. Interesting. So if I've, uh, you know, if, <laughs> we've all starting to use these little LED bulbs now, here in North America, as well as Europe, I'm sure. But uh, basically, this is the circuit on this here bulb, or bulb, circuit board, that uh, feeds this dear board to give you light. So, anyway. Interesting. Not a whole lot to it. But, uh, I wonder how come they don't feed each individual bulb. Why do they run them in series? Or, I should say, LED. You could feed them individually, you know? I guess they got the reasoning for it. But anyway, like I say, the bulb is a 900... Or a 120 volt AC, 94 milliamp, 5.5 watt bulb. Anyway, hope the little video uh, a little bit interesting, rest interesting to you. And uh, we'll see what we can get into the next time. In the meantime, a few decent parts on that board. A couple of high voltage capacitors, a couple of inductors, and. That bigger transistor, I don't know what I'll use it for. There's a couple of odd things that I can use. Or maybe we can use this board to power something else. Hmm. I wonder what voltage comes off the end of these wires. Should I run that through a Variac? Do I feel like electrocuting myself here today? Hmm. I'm thinking this support is probably not going to power up with the LEDs not attached to it. But in the meantime, I bet you if you could re if you could actually replace that LED, which I'm sure you possibly could somehow, you'd uh, make the bulb work again. But unfortunately, you'd completely destroy the bulb in the process. <laughs> anyway, guys, take it easy. And we'll see you in the next video. So we're at 63. We're out of here. Okay, I know you really can't see much here, but I'm going mm -hmm, touching. Right now, I have 24 volts. I'm not even touching the board here at all. I have 24 volts going into it. I got the original LED there um, jumped out. I'll just show you very quick. Maybe. Elite Eater jumped out. This one. 
So I'm not touching it. But just watch when I touch the back of this just touched the aluminum heat sink. Now, if I put my finger directly across where the two wires are on the LED, I get full. Well, not full, but you know, full brightness. And. That cool or what? If I let go, totally let go, yeah. Now, right now I'm just touching the floor. So it's like the static electricity from my body. Is uh oh weird huh? This I guess like I got socks on. I'm just touching the wooden floor <laughs> with my foot. <laughs> Ain't that nuts? But uh, yeah, just thought uh, thought you'd find that interesting. At least I did. It's pretty cool.